Because we can we can discern spirits. What does that mean? Does it mean like there's a spirit of immorality in this church? I can decipher the fact that there's a spirit of immorality. No, that's that's foolishness and folly. Okay, look at Revelation 2, 2, what it says here. Revelation chapter 2, verse 2. This is a praise that God gave to the church of Ephesus. Now, we understand that the church at Ephesus had its issues. Okay, they had left their first love. You know, they weren't soul winning. But they had good things uh, about them. And look at verse number 2. It says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and has found them liars, and has borne, and has had patience, and for my name's sake, has labored, and has not fainted. Go to First John chapter 4. So we see this church here, they couldn't bear the people who are evil. Look, that's the kind of attitude we want to have in our church. I cannot tolerate any evil person. I don't, not, even, not in my personal life, but especially not in the church. No reprobates allowed. No evil, wicked people allowed here. I don't care what kind of comments you put on YouTube. You're not welcome. Point blank. Why? Because we don't, we don't tolerate that. And we want to be like that. And it says, and has tried them, which say they are apostles and are not. So what is he saying? They've proven them. Okay. So they've tried those who claim to be these apostles and prophets. They tried them. They tested them. They've proven them. And then they found them to be liars. Now look at 1 John chapter 4 and verse number 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going on into the world. Now, what does it mean to try? It doesn't mean like, you know, okay, yeah, that's this is heresy right here. Yeah, okay, you know, you know, immorality over here. That's not what it means. Try means to test, and it mean it means to prove. Okay, hereby know ye the spirit of God. Verse two: Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it is in the world. So according to these verses, what does it mean to try them? It's based upon what they're com- what's coming out of their mouths. You see what I'm saying? So if someone's confessing that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, they're confessing that with their mouth. You can tr- By trying that spirit, the spirit is referring to that which is coming out of their mouths. You can tell if that person is of God or not. Now if they deny that, then you can automatically say, okay, this person is not of God. You're trying, you're discerning the fact that this person is not of God. Okay? The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 21, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Now go to uh, go with me if you would to go to 1 Timothy chapter number 4. So what does it mean to discern the spirit? It means that when you're talking to someone, based upon the words that are coming out of their mouth, you're trying them. You can discern what they believe. Now, at a basic level, this is important when you're out sewing, right? You know, if you knock on the door and they say this, you know, you, you say, hey, my name is so-and-so. I'm from Faith Word Baptist Church. I want to give you this invite to our church. You go to church anywhere. They say, yeah, I go to the Mormon Tabernacle. You know, the basic understanding of trying the spirits can say, okay, this person's not safe. Based upon that, you know, confession. So look, if someone tells you they are part of any kind of church other than a Baptist church, automatically, you can just roll into the gospel at that point. You don't have to say, so what do you think you have to do to be saved? It doesn't matter because they're part of the Mormon tabernacle. They're not going to give you a right answer. <laughs> so by trying the spirit that's coming out of their mouth, because remember, Jesus even said of his words, what? My words, they are spirit and they are life. So guess what? On the flip side of that, there is an evil spirit that comes out of people's mouths. It's the words that are coming out. Of, it's the confession that's coming out of their own heart. So if someone says, well, I'm, I'm a Catholic, you know, you don't have to say, okay, well, you know, so what do you think you have to do? You think it's by grace through faith, you know? No, you could discern, okay, this person's not saved. Now, obviously, if they say, I'm coming from a Baptist church, then you have to probe a little more to try the spirit and say, okay, what would you say you have to do to get to heaven? And if they give you the right answers, you're trying that answer, then you can obviously tell, okay, this person is saved or they're not saved, okay? Now, that's at a basic level, but it also works even in the church, when you meet new people or when you're talking to people and they're, they're telling you of their experiences or what they believe, you're trying the spirits. You're discerning what they believe. Okay. Now, don't have this attitude, this police attitude in our church where it's just like you're going around trying everyone. What do you believe? You know, tell me what you believe. Do you believe that Jesus is God? You know? No, just in casual conversation though, we ought, we ought, we ought to always be alert. 
right? When we're talking to people, and the words that are coming out of their mouth will reveal who they really are. Because the Bible tells us now the Spirit speaketh expressly, look at verse number one, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, and look what it says, and doctrines of devils. So seducing spirits works in tandem with what? Doctrines of devils. Doctrines mean what? What does doctrine mean? Teaching. So the seducing spirit is, is synonymous with that doctrine of devils. Well, people will be seduced. And the Bible also tells us the way people are seduced is with feigned words. Okay? The Bible also says, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil, for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. So what does it mean to be able to discern? Well, first, the way you get it is by just being a Christian for a while. Reading the Bible, you know, being around other Christians, so you can discern phrases and words and what people say. This is the problem with a lot of even uh, old IFB churches. They don't discern anything. They have no discernment whatsoever. Anybody can come to their church believing anything they want, and they just accept everyone, and they don't try any spirit. You know, they got this guy who's, who's a repent of your sins, straight false prophet, wolf in sheep's clothing, and what do they tell you? Well, he's just a little off on salvation. He's a good guy, though, because he bought me a $50 gift card. That's, they're good at trying that, huh? They'll try that gift card. They're like, call that company and see if there's really $50 on there. I want to prove all things, hold fast that which is good. But you know what? They don't prove all things from the people who are giving it to them, who are trying to pervert judgment. These people who believe false doctrine, they come into the churches, you know, they'll say, well, I believe in Jesus. Yeah, and it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, he's a little off on some things. No, you have no discernment whatsoever. Okay? You don't know how to try the spirits. You don't have any discernment to be able to determine if this person is a legitimate Christian, safe person. You know, they'll say, well, you know, I believe it's interesting in Jesus, but you also got to turn over a new leaf. You know, the, the, the salvation will make you work. You know, you have to work after you get saved. You know, a lot of old IFP churches will be like, okay, that, that's, that sounds about good. You know, I don't really agree with that last part, but yeah, it's, it's fine. No, it's not fine. <laughs> you need to get some discernment about yourself. And try that spirit that's coming out of the guy's mouth. You know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So what does it mean to discern spirits? Is the ability to basically pay attention to what people are saying. When you're paying attention, you're listening to the doctrines that are coming out of their mouth. And you can discern that. Okay. Now, 